in this part of the country this weekend is celebrated Halloween. It's actually tomorrow. Uh, Halloween is a, a festival of pretense, of costumes and masks and um, trying to fool. What's interesting in the Catholic Church is the day after Halloween, of course, is All Saints Day, All Hallows Day, and that's how you get Halloween, the eve before All Holy, All Saints. And it's, uh, it's interesting that we would say that saints, the holy ones, we, who divest ourselves of masks and costumes and pretenses, it's a, it's a great day for us, a holy day of freedom from hiding. And it's very interesting too that in today's gospel for, uh, for this day before Halloween is uh, a man, a little man, short in stature, uh, named Zacchaeus. And he is up in the tree hiding, but he wants to see Jesus from a distance, from a certain amount of safety. It never says in the gospel, and you might read it over, it never says that he saw Jesus. Jesus was passing by and Jesus looked up and Jesus saw Zacchaeus and Jesus invited Zacchaeus to come out of hiding, to come out of pretense, to take off his mask, to come down. Jesus says a very important theological statement that is so characteristic of Jesus, his interior. He says, I must, I have to stay at your house today. Come down so we can be on the level. Now Zacchaeus, as the, we saw in last Sunday's gospel, was also a tax collector and he was very rich meaning he skimmed off the top quite a bit. And he was hiding behind that because he was a small man, but large in his own eyes and large in somebody's eyes because he was very rich. Jesus doesn't deal with pretenses except to take off masks, to bring about the holiness that is there. So Zacchaeus runs down, hurries, and then Jesus says, I, I'm inviting myself to your house. A beautiful encounter. And really at the center of the person and the mission of Jesus saying to us all, I came that I will stay at your house. John says that in the prologue in the first chapter, he pitched his tent among us. Then uh, Zacchaeus doesn't say, no, don't, don't come to my house. But he says, uh, I've got some uh, makeup to do. I've got some repairs, not to my house, but to my conduct. I have not been a good man. I've been in pretense. But Jesus, I want to make amends. If I've defrauded anybody, if I've extorted money from anybody, I want to repay it four times over. And of course, the Pharisees who are, they don't, they don't just grumble, they are grumbles. They, they just are. And especially against Jesus. The Pharisees would never eat at a house with a tax collector. And they judge Jesus who says, I, I must stay. I have come to stay 
as the house of God's people. And Jesus says, no, this too is a child of God, a son of Abraham. What is interesting is change, as we all know, any kind of change, I think, is not as much a result of having a good idea as having met a good person. We are changed by encounter, by meeting, somebody meeting us, somebody giving us ourselves. We've probably said that before, but it's another picture of Jesus giving Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, taking off his mask and saying, this, this too, this man whom you see as a sinner, he's a child of God, a son of Abraham, part of the holy people, and he changes. So what we say is change follows encounter. Zacchaeus didn't change first, and then he could come down out of his tree. So it's a great, it's a great festival, this coming to the awareness of who does Jesus say we are? We are of the people, the holy people. We, uh, Tuesday is our holy day, our saint's day. And you say, well, I haven't changed enough. Maybe we haven't changed enough because we haven't let Jesus call us out of our trees. One final thing, and it has something to do with this gospel, but I listen to people a lot talking about the gospel and Jesus. Um, how to say this, it is not helpful to read the gospel for where you are to change. You read something, you say, oh, I should do that. It's, that you can, you can read about Jesus in terms of yourself, that, that you meet yourself, but not because Jesus met you. Oh, I'll, I'll change that. No, don't worry about change worry about being met in your pre-change condition. Let Jesus meet you in a way before you pick on yourselves and say, oh, I gotta be like Jesus. No, you don't have to be like Jesus. You have to be like Zacchaeus or the tax collector in the temple last week or anybody whom Jesus met. It's, it's more important to be met by Jesus who helps us meet ourselves than to, to say, oh, I, I've, got to do, I've got to turn the other cheek. I have to do things that Jesus said. No, first we have to let Jesus take off our pretenses. Now don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't talk about masks and costumes. No, no. The important thing is to let Jesus meet you with your mask and see how silly it is. But also necessary sometimes. We've lived with masks perhaps a long time. Maybe Zacchaeus was a tax collector for a long time. Jesus met him. And this is a festival, this Halloween time of letting Jesus meet us and he will help us take off our masks and he will help us come down of our tree of pretense. It's our festival. His meeting us and helping us meet ourselves. We've got to meet him first.